So what's going on today, guys? So t today we're going to be talking a little bit about Superman from Multiversus. And if you guys watched my last video, I kind of talked a little bit about how, how he was my starting character. And for the most part, you know, I really enjoyed him. I felt like he was a very easy character to kind of pick up, start playing with, and really kind of, you know, learn the ropes of the game. So today I kind of wanted to talk about him a little bit. And I'm going to have a little bit of gameplay playing on the other side of the screen while we're kind of reading some of these things over. So some of the kind of things I was looking over here that I kind of really agreed with um, on a lot of things, uh, especially the moves, I kind of wanted to talk about. Uh, so if you guys don't know, he is a tank class. Tank classes generally aren't moving as quick as some of like the assassin classes or some of the bruiser classes and things like that. So some, some kind of things that I saw um, use Kryptonian combo a good amount. Super Punch was kind of like the big move I was really using, especially starting out. You know, it's kind of hard to learn the mechanics, but once you kind of start learning and button mashing, you know, you kind of switch to using some different moves. And Super Punch was kind of the big one I was using to get people off the map and, you know, get some kills. Uh, downward Swing and Overhead Strike, I can't honestly say I've used those much. Um, overhead Strike has its you know, time and place, if you can get it off. I just feel like most people can end up, you know, see it coming from a mile away and just float right over you or evade as soon as they're about to land. But, you know, if you can make it happen, I mean, that move is devastating. You can really get people off the map. So Ice Breath was another one I generally did not use at all. It's such a slow move. When you actually do freeze someone, they're frozen for not very long. So honestly, I think that move needs a little bit of a buff to be honest, I think like you need to speed that up a little bit or increase the amount of time that they're actually frozen because that move is not great. Um, I mean, like I said, I mean, I haven't been playing for super long, maybe like a few days now, but Ice Breath I was just not a fan of. Locomotive Charge, now that was another one that was really good. Um, you know, you really can catch people by surprise if you time it right. So I felt like that move was probably one of his better ones, and especially if you can really aim that thing and be able to get the move off as quick as possible, you'll definitely put yourself in a good position to be able to, you know, get someone off the map and do some damage. Meteor Liftoff, uh, generally, I mean, I use that a little bit, generally more times than not, I'm using the, the move where you can actually fly around, grab someone, and punch them, and I felt like that move was actually pretty good for the most part. You know, you can really catch someone off guard and be able to get them off the map and kind of pull them away from their teammate, especially if their teammate is a support character, you can actually use that to kind of get them both away and, you know, kind of, you know, separate the two people. Heat Vision was another one where I felt like it was just not great. So when you're physically aiming the beams at the ground, you're lucky if you hit anything. To be honest, I think the move is just not great. But again, if you're decent with them, you might be able to hit some stuff if you're really you know, using the moves pretty quickly, maybe. But again, Heat Vision, it was just one of those moves I just couldn't really deal with. But so here's some tips for him. Uh, a lot of Superman's best attacks are grounded. Agree. You'll be playing in high traffic areas. Yeah, you're pretty much a sponge for damage. But again, if you're facing someone that can easily make you a vulnerable character, it could be you might be getting the beat down a little bit. But uh, his air to ground options aren't great. Yep. Uh, his air down special can cover a wide area if you're closer to death. His neutral special ice breath not only slows down your enemies but applies ice gauntlets to blah 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 blah. We did grew ice quickly again. I I don't agree with that one. I think I think honestly that was one of his worst moves. But again, if you can incorporate it and you can get a couple of those off the game, I mean, kudos because you might be able to. If you have a character that can really deal some damage, it might actually actually end up working out in your favor. Despite being able to kill with his air side special, having a great recovery, Superman is very slow. Yep. Some enemies may be able to keep you from getting back to the stage pretty effectively. Agree. Um, if you can incorporate that fly with your special, honestly, that's what I was using to get back to the map before I really started smashing the evade button a little more. But that move is actually kind of decent. Superman's air up special can be can fling enemies in any direction after grabbing them. 
It'd be great to get surprise KOs. I agree with that one. Break the ice signature perk, being able to ignite with his up special is nice, but doing more damage to ice enemies fit more into the soup's game plan. Wildcat Brawler, I feel like that's probably a big one that most people use to get that additional damage. Up up a slice, Superman's ground attack, and KO at low percentages. Extra damage. Yeah, I feel like if you can get some extra damage out of him or some potential defense out of him, I feel like he could be a good character. But again, I think as soon as you get vulnerable, depending on who you're playing, it could be really difficult to play with him. But anyway, like I was kind of saying earlier, he was my starting character. I felt like if you're learning the ropes, he's a great character to start with. He can take some damage. So if you're looking to kind of start out, learn, and not get killed almost immediately, I would definitely recommend going with Superman. Uh... But again, once you get more comfortable with the game, I would probably recommend switching out and maybe going, if you really enjoy the tank class, maybe going with somebody else. Well, guys, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.